Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. As a matter of fact, one master I served was quite the carefree soul, shunning armor in all its forms. Each to their own. What's this? We're trapped! I misjudged you. I had taken you for another force arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. 
Yet the value you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a mark of my trust. Give it to one of the Sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the Oxcart. It is your decision. Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. Yes, Master. I shall hasten to your aid. You have no need of my assistance at present, but I shall be ready to render aid at a moment's rest. Rotten luck! We need of your aid again, sir. Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? All right. Into the ox cart, then. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first, it would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. 
As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one Arisen. That Arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the Sovereign. The only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the council's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place, word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your Majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the Sovereign in your stead. A mere puppet. However, with your Majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in a tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Pray, forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Consarn it! Get back here! You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. You're a kind one, aren't you? T'would seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell.
This boat's ill. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, excellent find. The chest. I'll examine its contents, shall I? Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only pieces of the finest quality line these shelves. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price, just remember, misers die early deaths. Many thanks. I appreciate the business. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeeper understands. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. Hell is, Vermont was once a Beastron kingdom. There's always something that needs doing. I long for the times when I was always on my feet. Here to ask all of me, are you? They say the Sovereign's up in the palace, recovering from his battle wounds. Seems driving away the dragon took quite a toll on our liege. Tell is, the beast's flames burnt him black as tar. It is a right miracle he yet lives, if you ask me. Oh, what does this say? Let's have a look then. Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here, we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word.
Forgive me, but I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members. And we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. So regrettably, I cannot assist you. Unless you were to procure a weapon yourself, that is. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. He runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. May fortune smile upon you, sir. We shall have to scour high and low. Oi, friend! Klaus sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. I'd be grateful for aught you can reclaim, truly. Fair warning. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids, I've since learned. No doubt they're hoarding the stolen arms in their den. From the tell of it, their lair lies somewhere along the western road. Pray do be careful. If aught were to go awry, it would weigh heavily on my heart. Losing my wares for good would make me sore, but no sack of gold could compare to a fellow life, eh? The goblin's lair lies somewhere along the western road. I hope you can reclaim aught from the fiends. It would bring me peace of mind to know someone taught them a lesson at least. It seems we must venture to Trevor Mine. I believe it lies to the northwest of Vernwood. Follow me. I will guide you to the location. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. I'll lead the way.
I shall do as you say. Pray, follow me. Now. What might that be? We ought to take a closer look. Summon it unwittingly. 